Hi, I'm Vanessa, and thank you all for watching the vibrato stick number three exercise. Um, I am a teacher in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I teach violin. I learned in the Texas public school systems many, 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 many years ago. Um, and I started teaching here in Lake Charles when we moved here about five years ago. Um, so I was shocked very shocked that so many people watch the vibrato stick exercise number three on YouTube. The reason why I posted that exercise is because I'd come up with this idea to help teach my students vibrato because vibrato is so easy in every way, shape, or form. If playing violin, which is also incredibly easy to learn, um, if playing violin is like learning to drive stick shift on a car, learning vibrato is like start learning stick shift on an 18 wheeler going uphill so totally easy, right? Because everyone walks around like this and goes like this, right? Absolutely not. Vibrato is very challenging to learn. Violin is very challenging to learn, but even though it's really, really, really challenging, it's totally worth it. Because when you get it, it's awesome. Okay, so um, I posted that video for my students because I could not the video was too long to send um, to their cell phones, so I, I have a I'll just go ahead and post it on YouTube. So, without any prompting, without me bringing any anything to this particular video, it's got over a thousand views. So thank you for watching. Um, but I also am finally to the point where I'm like, you know, people have a need. People really, really, really want to learn vibrato, and vibrato is really, really hard. So maybe you guys would be interested in learning the rest of my uh, my method. It's, um, it's basically a way to try to help you learn the mechanics of vibrato without the stress and the pressure of making it sound melodic on your violin because as we know anytime we learn a new skill and you translate it to your instrument the instrument's not very forgiving and sometimes it just doesn't sound pleasing to our ears so i wanted to try to take the take the pressure and take the stress out of it so we could just work on the mechanics of it and as a refresher that one video is, I believe it's Twinkle Twinkle. most beautiful performance but you get the drift so vibrato we go from having a very flat sound to to this 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 beautiful and elegant sound that creates depth and character and color for your music. But going from to can be a bit of a challenge. So this is what I came up with. This is called the vibrato stick. It's a glorified dowel rod. It is 24 inches long. I play full-size violin, so I made this as a full-size violin replica. It corresponds, it's 24 inches long, it corresponds with a full-size violin. From here to here is from the scroll to the nut. First position, third position, fifth position, seventh position, the harmonic on your string, and this is where the bridge is. So here are the exercises that I had come up with that I hope, if it helps you, I hope it does. So here we go. You hold it, you take your right hand, the bowing hand completely out of this equation. So take your right hand and you put it 
on the dowel rod. And the dowel rod, by the way, is almost as wide as a full-size violin neck. So, and of course, it does not go out like the fingerboard does, but for our intents and purposes, I think it works. So, <clears throat> and then you also have dots. I have a dot right here on my left hand on my knuckle, and then I have a dot on my first, second, third, and fourth finger. The vibrato stick, if you look closely, like I have labeled here, here's the nut. Here's first position, and you twist it a little bit. Here's third position, Roman numeral three. Twist it a little bit. Here's Roman numeral five. Twist a little bit, and here's seven. And if you go back, let's see, I'm gonna go back to fifth position. Fifth position corresponds with fifth position on your instrument. I believe it's right above where the neck and the body of the instrument meet. So, right here, fifth position. And if you look right underneath Roman numeral five, here is a dot dot. Well, this is not a dot. There's, there's a, a tape here, here. It corresponds with a D major scale. Um, D major scale in first position. Fingers are in this position. Here's your whole step and your whole step and here's your half step. I call this windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. And windshield wipers because in when I teach, this is the default position to begin learning to play default position. So it's a W. That's why it's windshield wipers. W. W. So from that W position, I find my fifth, my Roman numeral five, fifth position. So I lay my finger one, two, three, and four. So in that, there would be a dot here, two fingers. My second finger corresponds with this dot here. And then my other, my last, my pinky finger goes on, that last dot. Um, oh, and interestingly enough, usually when we begin to play, we, we start playing, you know, first position down here. Um, I have learned, <laughs> learning vibrato is actually a little bit easier if you go, if you start with fifth or seventh. It's much easier. And then you can go and pull down. So again, fifth position find my five fifth position corresponding dots so the first thing we've got to do if we're going to be learning vibrato is you got to learn to let go so when we're playing our inst instrument initially we're holding our instrument like this da, 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 da. you know easy we're making full contact around the neck of our instrument right but to do vibrato vibrato is like having a seesaw you have to pivot, pivot something to make the wiggle, to make the vibration, right? So what we're doing is, in our vibrato stick, we're going from this to this, and we're pivoting off of our thumb. So, <clears throat> easy, said nobody ever. So we're going from this position, which I call knuckle touch because our knuckle right here where I have this dot makes contact with the neck of your instrument or the vibrato stick knuckle touch Oops. All right. fifth position okay so knuckle touch but we want to go from knuckle touch to a release knuckle touch release knuckle touch release so we're going from a standing up kind of c-shape to a hand puppet standing up c-shape to a hand puppet because in order to have that pivot point knuckle touch and then we pull our knuckle away from us. Knuckle touch, pull away. Knuckle touch, pull away. Knuckle touch, pull away. This side, knuckle touch, pull away. So we're going from here to here, here to here. So the goal of this exercise is to take this dot and pull
pull it away. Knuckle touch, release. Knuckle touch, release. Knuckle touch, release. And what happens is your thumb goes back. So the first vibrato stick exercise is knuckle touch, release. Knuckle touch, release. So from here, knuckle touch, from here to here, here to here. Like you're pushing. Have you ever seen those people that row boats competitively? That's kind of, they're rowing. They go like this, row and this and row and this. That's basically what you're doing with your hand. You're holding it. These are the rowers. You're rowing and you're pushing away. You're rowing and you're pushing away. Rowing and pushing away. Rowing and pushing away. So knuckle touch, release. Knuckle touch, release. Knuckle touch, release. Yeah, so completely easy, said nobody ever. So that first exercise, the first vibrato stick exercise is doo -doo -doo, knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release. And we're only making contact, we're holding onto it with the one first finger. Knuckle touch and releasing only having one finger. Knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release. That's the first exercise. The second exercise is you're going to use your second finger. Knuckle touch, release, where you're only making contact with your second finger now. Knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release. So second finger, third finger, find our position. Knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release. And then your fourth finger, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release. Now your third and fourth finger, they're connected by the same tendon. So this, if you ever notice it is very difficult to move one without the other, that's why, because they have the same tendon. But we're gonna do our best. Knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release, knuckle touch, release with our fourth finger. So that's the first exercise. The next exercise is gonna be knuckle touch, release, tap, tap, tap. So we're going to make keep contact with our first finger. So we go back to knuckle touch release, finding my fifth position again in my windshield wiper position. Knuckle touch release with our first finger, knuckle touch release, and then tap, tap, tap. We're going to tap our dots to the corresponding dots here. Knuckle touch release, tap tap, tap. Knuckle touch, release. Tap, tap, tap. Knuckle touch, release. Tap, tap, tap. Knuckle touch, release. Tap, tap, tap. So that's knuckle touch, release. Tap, tap, tap. Now, here's where it gets fun. Wiggling <laughs> makes no sense, right? So as we're I noticed when I, my students first started learning vibrato, they had they would kind of go back and forth, kind of like a, a, a washing machine agitating clothes. Their hands would they wanted their hands naturally wanted to go back and forth like this. The vibrato is actually a forward and backward movement where where your knuckles are moving parallel with the neck of your instrument. Because you know everything about violin is so totally easy. Mm hmm. Okay. So it's actually a forward and backward movement. Forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. But trying to learn that, training your hand to do that, is really, really hard. So what we do is remember these dots? We go back to fifth position. Um, actually, I'm going to go and do the second finger because the dot is there. You remember the dots on our fingers. There's a reason why we have the dots on our fingers and corresponding dots on our stick. See, if we go back to fifth position, see this dot? This dot corresponds with my second finger in the windshield wiper position. Okay, so 
I've got my second finger and my dot, right? What we want to do is, is we want to hide the dots. We want to wiggle over the dots. The motion for vibrato is forward and back, forward and back. And with that dot, let's see if I can show you this. See the dot? We're going to play dot to dot. When we're in position, we're going to go, we're going to see the dot, hide the dot. 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 And if you watch my hand, see how my thumb is holding the stick and I am pivoting off of my thumb. Back and forth. And you see the area right in here. There's a hole in here because that's where the release from the knuckle touch release, it creates this hole in my hand. So to wiggle, vibrato, forward and back forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And so, to start learning this movement, dot to dot. Hide the dot, show the dot. Hide the dot, show the dot. Now, when you have your instrument, it looks like this. Get back in your playing position. Knuckle touch, release. Starting with that second finger. And I'm going to look back, forward, hide the dot, show the dot, hide the dot, show the dot, hide the dot, show the dot, hide the dot, show the dot. That's it. It's a very awkward feeling when you begin. So knuckle touch, release, and then say wiggle, 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 which is wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So it's <laughs> knuckle touch release, hide, <laughs> hide, show, hide, show, hide, show, hide, show, or forward and back, forward and back. So knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 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 We're also going to do that with our first finger, that first finger dot. Again, we're going to find our fifth position. I don't actually have a dot on here. I need to draw it, but let's imagine there's a dot right here on this tape. It's just the same thing. Knuckle touch release. We're going to show the dot, hide the dot. 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 So knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then we're going to do the same thing with our third and our fourth fingers. Um, where are we? So third finger, knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And you'll see my fingers move, move back, naturally move in, into these, this position so that I can move my fingers in this parallel motion, it's parallel. It's wiggling forward and back, not side to side, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So, third finger, knuckle touch release, knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then the same thing with our fourth finger. Knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, and you're just Hiding the dot. Show the dot, hide the dot. Show the dot, hide the dot. Show the dot, hide the dot. Okay? So that's the knuckle touch release. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, so you will continue to work with those exercises. Knuckle touch release, tap, tap, tap. Or knuckle touch release. Knuckle touch release. The knuckle touch release. Tap, tap, tap and then knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So you'll work with those in, in whichever positions, uh, seventh position, fifth position, third position, which is my favorite position, and first position. Now, the video that is already posted, I learned a, a little while back by watching a video that when dancers get hurt, 
and they can't dance. They have to recuperate. They have to let their bodies heal. Um, if they watch other dancers dance, it lights up all the areas in their brain that are associated with those movements. Um, mirror neurons, mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are the, the neurons in our brain that when babies see people do things like walking, they learn to walk. They learn by seeing. It lights up our brain. It mirrors what we see. That last exercise was after you worked with, with these other exercises, when you're ready, you watch, you, you stop paying attention to your hand completely. You get it in position and you find a video and you watch it and you just wiggle whichever finger you see wiggling. So for that Mary had a little lamb, da, da, da. Or twinkle, 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 little star, how I wonder what you are. It's where you let your, it's where you let your body rest and you allow your brain to take over our biology to take over so you would you just see a video do, 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 not even watching your hand da, da. you're just watching whichever video so that's what it was with that one video now you can watch any video you want any violinist that you admire um, oh, I can't think of her name right now uh, Hillary Hahn Hillary Hahn um, Ishtak Perlman, um, oh, what's his name? He plays a duet with Jake Shambuko, who plays, uh, ukulele, and I can't think of his name right now. Um, you can watch any one that you want, and, and just let go of what you think it's supposed to look like, and you just watch them, and you wiggle. You, you just, whichever finger that you noticed, you wiggle with it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And allow your mirror neurons, hopefully, um, to work in the same way that it works for the dancers. As you're watching somebody else, you're learning because those parts of your brain are starting to light up. So the reason why all of this is here is if you're trying to learn to play violin and you're trying to do this on the instrument, Can be a really intimidating and <laughs> disappointing experience because again vibrato is like learning to drive stick shift on an 18 wheeler going uphill it's completely easy so you have to take all these skills and add it with that that stick so <laughs> it can be really intimidating and if i said okay so i want you to do knuckle touch release Knuckle touch release. Okay, that's no big deal. But knuckle touch release, tap, tap, tap. Knuckle touch release, tap, tap, tap. And then, you know, I think it's too easy to want to get the bow involved. It's, it's too tempting to get the bow involved before we understand the hand movements a bit. So let's just throw that out of there. But as you continue to work with the vibrato stick and get those movements, then you can go knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can use your instrument. Knuckle touch release, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, wiggle. Knuckle touch release, second finger, wiggle. Hide the dot, show the dot. Hide the dot, show the dot. And then you go faster and faster. Show the dot. Hide the dot. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then when you're ready, you can add the bow. But until then, you know, if you're sitting there on the couch and you're watching TV, or you have a couple of minutes and you're just sitting there, you can always take your vibrato stick out and knuckle touch release, wiggle, 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 knuckle touch release, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Um, to take the stress and the frustration out of the process. Because playing violin is already difficult. It is the most challenging instrument to learn because it's so it's so close to the human voice. It is very, very difficult to, to learn to play um, musically, melodically. And I think sometimes whenever it doesn't sound the way we think it's supposed to sound or it's harder, sometimes that can be an experience that makes you want to put it down. I want you to pick it up. I want you to pick up your instrument and know that yes, you can, but you're gonna fail because failure is the pathway to success. Failure is the pathway to success. Try, try, try and stay in the struggle. You can do it, but it's hard. <laughs> it is, it's very hard. I was hoping that the vibrato stick will take some of the intimidation factor and the screech factor out of it so you can just work on the mechanics and you can go back and forth. Okay, I've rehearsed a little bit this way. Now I'm gonna add my instrument to do the same thing. Um, and so, the vibrato stick. If you're interested in learning this, my st okay, so I, I gave these, I made a couple of these vibrato sticks for, for my, I don't know, I had five students, maybe four or five, um, and I made these vibrato sticks for them and I, I gave them to my students to use and it helped them, it helped them. Um, one of my adult students said that it helped him to understand, understand the movement. Um, and <laughs> we didn't keep up with it because we had a hurricane last year and Lake Charles got hit and we didn't have electricity for six months. So everything and the music store shut down, everything just went nuts but here a year later less than a year later we have a new music store here in Lake Charles and I will be I've started teaching again and so and that video has a thousand over a thousand views so I thought do you want to learn this so that's why I'm, I'm making this video I want to give you guys a quick rundown of what this is is this something that you would like for me to do like a series on so that I can teach this a little bit more fully? Um, I can make a video for you to um, make these yourselves, but then if you want to buy them from me, you're welcome to. Um, they wouldn't be that expensive and you'd have to pay for shipping and handling. Um, but I'd be happy to make you a vibrato stick and send it to you in the mail. Um, with instructions, written instructions, and with some videos. Um, so yeah, I just want to know, would you be interested in learning that? So that's what this video is about. Is this something that you think might help you? And if so, please let me know and we can figure out a way to get a vibrato stick to you with the handwritten instructions um, and with videos to help you on your violin journey. So, yeah, I hope, my goal is to help you play as skillfully as you want to. Vibrato is really, really hard. So the vibrato stick is meant to help you achieve your goal so that it can help you achieve your music goals so that you can create something beautiful and put it in the world. Please let me know. Uh, drop me a message in the comment section and we can go from there. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching. May you be blessed and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Okay, bye. Oh, thank you. <laughs>